This is the sound of the most famous bell in Britain, but Big Ben in London has a less well-known side. Today I'm going to show you some of the secrets of one of the most iconic buildings in Britain, the Elizabeth Tower at the Palace of Westminster, better known as Big Ben. For over 160 years, the iconic bell tower has watched over British government buildings on the banks of the Thames. Dr. Mark Collins has been Parliament's historian for 25 years and knows every nook and cranny of Big Ben. He's ready to reveal the first secret. So now we're coming into the belfry of the tower. And we can see five bells, the four quarter bells, which make the Westminster quarter chimes. And in the center is the vast shape of Big Ben. And the secret is that a very large hammer was used to begin with, and it formed a crack in the bell. And so, although it is note E that we hear whenever the clock is struck on the hour, it is in fact a very serious, somber note that we hear. But how did the tower get its name? The secret of the name of the Great Bell, which is Big Ben, uh, is from the MP who was in charge of the works when the bells were being installed, Benjamin Hall. And his nickname was Big Ben. So they gave it to the bell itself. And this has in turn given it to the tower Although it's the Elizabeth Tower, everybody knows it as Big Ben. In 2017, the bells fell silent for five years. The entire tower was scaffolded and underwent extensive renovation until the end of 2022. In the process, the tower revealed another secret. It's been a great surprise to find out that the exterior color of the dials was this blue because we had seen it for generations as black. And it wasn't until we started to take samples of the paint from the outside and carry out some re research into the uh, background archives that we discovered that, in fact, uh, there was this very rich blue. Ian Westworth makes sure the bells ring on time. The clock mechanic climbs 292 steps three times a week to service the inner workings. This is the great clock of Westminster. It's a three train flatbed clock, which means that it's got three distinct sections to it. We've got the quarter train behind me, which strikes quarter past, half past, quarter to, and just before the hour. At the far end, we've got the strike train, which actually rings Big Ben. And in the middle, we've got what's called the going train, and that tells the time, it drives the hands on the outside, it tells the other two trains what they're about to do and at what time they're going to do it. Secret number four. This is the pendulum of the great clock of Westminster, which keeps the timekeeping. To adjust the timekeeping on it, we use old pre-decimal pennies. By putting one penny on to the pendulum, it speeds the clock up by two-fifths of a second in 24 hours. That's how we keep the clock so accurate. We're only allowed to be plus or minus two seconds of time when it strikes Big Ben. There are a total of 400 steps to climb to reach the last secret. Said to have been installed in 1885 at the request of Queen Victoria, the secret glows green and is only revealed after dark. The secret at the very top of the Elizabeth Tower is called the Ayrton Light. And it's a signal light which shines out across Westminster when either House of Parliament is sitting after dark. Now tourists and locals can once again enjoy Big Ben ringing out the hours and quarter hours. After all, it's one of the most popular sights and sounds in the British capital.